Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to another video, y'all. Before we get into this video, make sure y'all go subscribe to my channel and also turn on y'all post notification bell to be notified for whenever your girl posts up. Positive is always the attitude, negative is never the boo. So with that being said, let's get right into this video. So today, y'all, I'm reacting to 10 creepiest doorbell caught on camera video ever captured. So let's get into it. Doorbells. You ring them. And nowadays, some have cameras. And some of the footage that's been captured, kind of creepy. Kind of very creepy. From a guy who licks doorbells to a man knocking an invisible door, these are the creepiest doorbell... You know he gotta be off something if he <laughs> licking a damn doorbell. That's just insane. Creepy, too. Camera videos ever captured. Let's begin. Huh? Number 10, The Invisible Guest. Let's start with a light one before we get too heavy. What's creepy about this first clip is that absolutely nothing is captured on camera, at least not visually. In this clip, it isn't what you see, but what you hear. Yo. That shit sound like a demon or something. That is weird and crazy. I'd be scared as hell. <laughs> If I lived in that house, man, that's crazy. Weird ass voice. Do you hear it? That's strange, no? Almost like some kind of ghost laughing. Is this something otherworldly? Something paranormal? Or is it just a no, neighbor being weird. an idiot? The skeptics in the YouTube comment section are insisting it's just a battery powered Halloween decoration gone awry. But let us know what you think in the comments below. Or don't. Your life is your own. Number 9, The Liar. In this video, a strange person rings a doorbell and engages in an equally odd conversation with the house's owner, who isn't home, and talks to the visitor via a remote speaker system. The man claimed he worked for the homeowner's family at one point, possibly cleaning the tiles on the front porch. Yeah, I do a uh, driveway, do the step, uh, do the tile. When asked what it is the man wants, he never answers fully, but seems eager to get inside the house, only wandering away when he realizes no one is home. What's creepy about this particular clip is how desperately the guy wanted to come inside. What was going on here? What was he planning? It feels like this might have been a burglary. Yeah, dude probably was off some shit. More than likely off something. The attempt gone wrong. He was trying to get in so he could rob the place, and that's kind of terrifying. However, when this clip was first posted on YouTube, a commenter had the following to say. Honestly, I don't think he was looking to steal from you, otherwise he would have just took the Amazon package sitting in plain view. He's an old Polynesian man, probably Samoan judging by physical features and accent. I should know, I'm Samoan. He reminds me of my uncles. It sounds like he was part of the crew that laid the tiles outside your front door. It must have been a long time ago, and if you're not the original homeowner, he's mixing you up with somebody else. Knowing how old Samoan men think and behave, I guarantee he's just feeling nostalgic about the job he did long ago there. If there's one thing they love to do, it's reminisce about the past and tell others about it. That's why he's talking about the tiles, having done it for your father or brother, and constantly looking at the ground. He's feeling proud of seeing his hard work still looking great after all these years. It's a nice theory. It's a comfortable theory. But there are still people out there who think this man's desperation to come into the house was way too suspicious and think the comments about working for the owner's dad are all lies. It's a tricky one to call. And especially in these deeply divided and scary times, maybe it was best that the homeowner assumed the worst and kept himself safe. Number 8. The Doorbell Licker Okay, so we started with one that could possibly just have been a Halloween decoration on the fritz, then we moved on to one that was possibly just an awkward clash of cultures, but there's no debate on this next one. There's no nuance. There are no shades of gray. Despite being filmed at night, it is 110% clear hey. as day what's going on in this- This dude look creepy as hell right here. <laughs> That's some creepy ass shit, like, if somebody were to ring my doorbell looking like that, I'll shoot him. <laughs> I'm just playing. I wouldn't shoot him, but I wouldn't answer my damn door. I swear I would not answer my door. Looking like that, creepy. Look at the eyes. Like, something is off about this person right here. Clip. A man is licking doorbells. We have ourselves a doorbell licker. Weirdo. No, we're not talking about an Apex Twin song. 
this is a very real guy who decided to get very seriously intimate with a stranger's doorbell. Even though this pithy clip only comes in at 48 seconds, the full footage is a Peter Jackson-like three hours. That's disgusting. The door-licking individual in question is a man by the name of Roberto Daniel Roy. You know how many people didn't touch the doorbell and he want to sit up and lick on it? Like it's some damn fruit or some shit? Who does that? He gotta be off something, like I said. Yo, thanks to the clarity of the footage, because you don't exactly forget the face of a man who licked your doorbell, he was incredibly easy to track down. The homeowners, the Dungans, were not home when Arroyo made his way to their doorbell, but their children were. Luckily, they were asleep and never woke. This is football. And in football, you are never alone. FIFA 21, win as one. Woke up to see the strange and creepy activity. Arroyo also moved an extension cord in the front yard and relieved himself on camera. You kind of laugh about it afterwards because technically he didn't harm anybody. He didn't break anything, homeowner Sylvia Dungan told ABC. As you might have guessed, Arroyo may be facing charges of prowling and petty theft. To give him some credit, but seriously, only some, it was New Year's Eve at the time, so there's a strong possibility he was in. Y'all seen his mugshot? <laughs> You can't tell me that fool ain't on nothing. You can tell he on something. Incredibly drunk or high on narcotics of some kind. I mean, See? it still doesn't you. stop it being creepy, though. What really makes it odd is the length. A three-minute drunken lick of a doorbell, while odd, is far more on the reasonable end of the spectrum. But a three-hour drunken lick? You can watch the Avengers Endgame in that time. You can listen to three albums in that time. He could have spent that time in the comfort of his own home, swigging a few beers and playing Journey on the PS4. But no, he chose to lick a stranger's doorbell. Adding to the peculiarity, yeah, I know, somehow we're not done, is that he maintained eye contact with the camera for a large That's majority of the three-hour tongue eye session. Contact with this, the of course, greatly helped the, the authorities identify him, but also gives the footage an incredibly sinister and somewhat intimate edge. Number weird. seven, <laughs> knocking on a non-existent door. In this video, a man approaches the door, then does something odd. He pretends to knock on the door. I mean, the real door is right there, so what's he doing? Has he missed it? Is he knocking some kind of ghost door that we can't see? We then see him talk to someone waiting in a car off camera. This is when it starts to become clear what is actually going on, and what makes it scary is the revelation that something pretty serious might have been about to go down that night. It quickly becomes obvious he's been put up to doing something by this unseen individual, something he doesn't want to do. After a while, he even fakes a conversation with the homeowner asking if someone named Matt lives there. He then apologizes and walks away. What's so creepy about this video is that clearly the guy in the car wanted the guy at the door to do something. And the creepy thing is... Stop! Did you know every time you shop on Amazon, you're helping someone make passive income? <laughs> We don't know how serious it was going to be. Was he simply scouting the place for a potential future break-in? Or was he being egged on into committing a far more serious crime? Luckily for the homeowners, this guy proves he has heart and morals. By faking an interaction at the door, he managed to spare the real homeowners whatever trouble may have been about to befall them. Who knows what sort of nefarious deeds might have gone down if this stranger didn't possess a conscience or an intense fear of getting caught. Whoever he is, we hope he's not in a situation where he's being forced into stuff like this anymore. Number six, friendly neighborhood snake. If there's one doorbell the doorbell licker wouldn't want to lick, it's this one. Because this doorbell has a great big snake on it. This little beastie's called a Texas rat snake, and the doorbell cam captures footage of the snake gleefully and repeatedly slithering its way along a woman's front door and getting just as intimate with the door. I do not like snakes. I am afraid of snakes, y'all. They weird, creepy. I just don't like snakes. Like, who likes snakes? Psst. Bell as the door licker did. Ugh, I can't stop thinking about that door licker. The snake even falls from its perch at one point, but the big boy just keeps on fighting. He wants to get into that house more than the guy from our second clip did. As horrifying as this clip may be for anyone with a phobia of snakes, or for anyone with a phobia of doorbells for that matter, the snake's insistence is admirable. It won't take no for an answer. It refuses to back off. We like to think there's actually a pesky rat in the house and the snake is the noble hero of this story, desperate to break in and save the day. Good on you, Mr. Snake. 
Number five, attempted break-in. This clip is slightly darker than the others and creepier in a whole different way. Because what we have here isn't something unsettling and paranormal, but what we have here is an attempt at very serious and genuine crime. Bring back the door licker. At least he wasn't harming anyone. <laughs> the cam captures a man in a dark hoodie. According to the original upload description on YouTube, the man rang the doorbell at around 2 p.m. Now, the home's occupant was technically in the house, but didn't hear anything because he was wearing headphones. The man in the hoodie left, but later returned with an... So, believe it or not, this bench is what started the $7.5 million I made from my office list agency. Because I... With an accomplice around about 15 minutes. Just imagine if you was robbing a place, somebody was robbing your place, and the person is just standing right there with a gun ready to pop your ass in the face for kicking their door in. <laughs> imagine that. Later, it becomes clear what's happening. The dude in the dark hoodie only rang the doorbell to check if somebody was in because he was planning to rob the place. Because he got no answer, he was convinced the house was empty, so he returned with a friend to commit the robbery. When doorbell cams were invented, this is the exact sort of thing the inventor thought they'd capture instead of, you know, doorbell lickers. The man in the dark hoodie starts forcefully kicking at the door. He's and they stupid, retarded. Like, how the heck do you rob a place and don't even try to wear? A mask covering to cover up your damn face. You wanted to get caught. Who does that? Clearly trying to break in now that he thinks the house is empty. But the loud bangs of the multiple kicks were loud enough that the homeowner luckily heard it over his music and yelled out in shock, prompting the wannabe burglars to run away in a panic. It's scary to think what could have happened. If the homeowner had never heard them and they had broken in, what would they have done when they saw him? Would they have heard him? There's no way of knowing. Where's Mr. Snake when you need him? He would have fought them off. Number four, strange streak of light. We couldn't exactly do a list like this without exploring the paranormal. And whilst the first item in the video was a potential paranormal sighting, it was kind of debatable. But this one, this one has a lot more weight to it. In the left corner of the screen, a long and fast streak of light whips around the camera's lens. There's a chance it's just a bug or maybe even a cinematic lens flare. Maybe this doorbell cam has aspirations to be a camera on J.J. Abrams' set, but there is a distinct paranormal vibe to it as well. Number three, the creep in the bushes. We now return to the world of just how strange real people can be. A man watching TV in his basement gets an alert about somebody at his door. He checks the app and sees a figure moving about just off camera. The man attempts to communicate with the figure, but gets no response. He assumes it's some kind of creep, like a doorbell licker, lingering in the bushes. Then, the figure shows itself. Yeah, that's no person. That's, that's way worse. Number two, Ghost Worm. Just a quick one now, but another one for the weird category. Look to the top center of the footage. What exactly is that strange blue shape hovering in the air? Some say... You ever hear people talk about how they flip stuff? Like flipping houses, flipping stocks, or even flipping items on eBay? Some say ghost. Some say inchworm. What do you think? Number one, the doorbell. Uh, look, I'm sorry, but it's so weird. We're just going to show it again. Okay, stop showing what is he this doing? Fool. Is he trying to eat it? <laughs> of all this doorbell cam footage, which clip did you find the creepiest? And do you have any idea what the doorbell liquor was up to? Seriously. Also, check out our all other cool stuff. Show all them videos was creepy, <laughs> if you ask me. But I got to say the door liquor was the most creepiest to me. What y'all think? Anyway, y'all, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure y'all give this video a like. Comment down below what y'all think about this video. Subscribe to my channel. And also, make sure y'all share this video and also turn on y'all post bell notifications to be notified for whenever your girl posts up. Positive is always the attitude. Negative is never the mood. And with that being said, I will see y'all in my next reaction video. Peace! <laughs>